is up, all of you wayward people? It's been a minute since we've made a good little signature wayward stories video like I have used to be prone to do with this channel, where I find little oddball things all across the country in my travels. Um, but I got a good one here today. I happen to be working out of St. Louis and right across the river in Alton, Illinois, is this bad mother. That is Native American rock art. That is known as the quote unquote Paasa bird. Not a bird. Um, the wings were added kind of after the fact. They seem to be a bit apocryphal. Um, but let's talk about it for a minute. You can see here, right across the way is the Mississippi River. But this depiction of this mythic creature would go back a good solid to about the 1200s, probably come from the Mississippian culture and uh, probably the peoples that inhabited Cahokia just across the river over in St. Louis, which we have in one of our other videos about, I don't know, 20 or 30 videos back if you wanna go see it. This was first quote unquote discovered by French explorer Jacques Marquette and his homeboy Louis Jolet in 1673 when they were exploring down the river. What you see behind me is a recreation. Why is it a recreation? Because the original, there were two, and it was right back there, several hundred feet. This bluff line used to extend a lot further down. So why is the bluff line gone, you might be asking. Justin, why is the bluff line gone? Well, let's go back to a quick recreation of what a conversation in the 1870s would look like. Bro. Yeah, bro. Bro, look at this. This is, this is amazing, bro. I don't even know what to say. Bro, I know, it's like, it's like almost ineffable. Bro, I don't even know what ineffable means, but I know that words can't describe how this makes me feel. Let's blow it up. So they blew it up. This is limestone, and it was high quality limestone where it was originally located, a few hundred feet downstream. And uh, so, yeah, they quarried it to sell. Um, now, it is said that by the time that they quarried it, they were almost indiscernible. This image was likely created sometime around or before 1200 CE and it was 1673 right by the time Marquette found it what's that 473 years later and then with another hundred years apparently it like became a thing for the local natives as they went by in their you know boats to shoot at it and nobody's really sure if that was like some kind of like ritualistic kind of thing or just for giggles but it, the two original became so defaced you couldn't really see them and then they blew them up, and so we don't have them anymore. But what you see behind me is a recreation, sort of, because the original that Marquette drew did not have wings, but it's a recreation of the best they can come up with of what the originals looked like. You can tell it's huge. You can go look behind me, you can see like that little kiosk right there. That's a human-sized kiosk. It's massive, very, very cool. At least they're trying to preserve it. At least they're, or, recreate it and keep the memory alive. They have to repaint it every few years, and that's very cool. Anyway, that is called the Piasa bird, or the Paisa. I've heard it pronounced both ways. The Native American tradition is that it means devourer of men, and it lived in the caves right here. If you look, there's a whole bunch of high school kids in there smoking pot right now. Not supposed to do that, but you know, hey. Got to do it somewhere. Might as well do it in a mythical cave, right? We're going to assume the bird, um, or the creature, because it's not really a bird. We're going to assume the creature no longer inhabits the caves because uh, there's a bunch of stoned kids in there and assuming they're not dead. Anyway, this is the, uh, these are the caves. The story is told on a stone marker over here, and I'm not going to go over here and read it all to you. It's pretty long. You can look it up on the old interwebs where it is transcribed thoroughly. Um, it's a very cool story, but anyway around it, this is what we have today is this recreation. 
and that is better than nothing and it helps keep the memory of it alive and um, fortunately Marquette and Jolet did a pretty darn good job of uh, recording what they saw so we at least have some idea um, and it's a very significant cultural artifact. Would have been the largest piece of rock art, Native American rock art, ever like discovered ever anywhere, but it unfortunately no longer exists. But anyway around it, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This is the Piazza Icon iconography. I don't want to call it a bird. Everyone calls it a bird, but that's a mischaracterization. It's not really a bird. Those, bu those wings weren't originally there. Um, in Alton, Illinois, right across the river from St. Louis, and this little jaunt perfectly sums up what I always tell you guys. No matter where you are, there's something really interesting to check out and explore really close to you. I happen to be in St. Louis for work, and I've got a pass, a bird, and a bunch of stone kids in a cave. So, how's your Friday going? Anyway, we're going to catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget, podcast is going strong on the podcast player of your choice, Wayward Stories. We're having a good time over there. And you can check us out at waywardstories.com and hit us up at mywaywardstory at gmail.com so we can put your story onto the podcast. Anyway, we'll catch you guys in the next video and thanks for watching. Be rocky. The mountain top.